everyone so I thought I would do a quick video just um, about breastfeeding and bottle feeding so for those of you who don't really watch my videos and don't know um, I am breastfeeding um, about well I'll tell you about my breastfeeding first so in the hospital he had a well he just had a problem latching on for a few hours that's why you had to stay there from like the morning till the evening but then by that evening he could latch on properly and stuff and then by the third or fourth day he couldn't latch on to my right breast and um, so one of the midwives gave me a nipple shield and she says she said to me that the no meant to give them out which I don't see why because um, I think I think it's better if you have the baby on your breast with a nipple shield than don't have the baby on your breast at all. But anyway, so I started using the nipple shield on my right breast and it worked really, really well. And then I read about some disadvantages of nipple shields on the internet because I just thought like if the midwives aren't meant to give them out then there's obviously some kind of disadvantages to it. So, if the disadvantages disadvantages are if um, the baby's not latched on properly or something, they might not get enough um, food or something else. I really can't remember, but I didn't have any problems with it at all. And it said uh, I read an article and it actually said that it can help babies latch on. So the way I do it because the baby lashes on properly now. I only use a nipple shield whenever, um, whenever he's like hungry and grumpy, and then he just doesn't feel like latching on because he gets lazy and frustrated and he starts crying. So that's when I use the nipple shield, but I hardly ever use it. But anyway, the way I used to do it is like I put the nipple shield on, and then um, once he takes a few sips and stuff, take the nipple shield off and try him on the breast. Another way is if you don't want to use the nipple shield, try putting your finger in um, his or her mouth first because that's how I got my baby to latch on. I put my finger in his mouth, I think it was because he was crying and crying and I had to, I had to get ready obviously, I had to um, take my brow off and stuff. Well unclip my bra and stuff and he was crying and crying so I put my finger in his mouth and then he latched on properly straight after so I thought oh well we'll try that next time as well so it worked next time as well so he seems to latch on after shocking on my finger so as long as that works and I'm happy and anyway two days ago we thought oh well if we're using um, the nipple shield then we might as well use the bottle and see how it works and I was really scared that he was going to get nipple confusion or something because um, the nipple shield has actually got a bit of a different teeth than the bottles because we're using Tommy TP bottles and um, I'm not sure where the nipple shield is from because I got it from um, one of the midwives so we tried him on the bottle and that was about I think it was two days ago and so we took the bottle because I, I expressed my own milk, I didn't use formula. Um, first of all, the breast pump feels so weird because I've got a manual breast pump and just I could hear this noise, right? <laughs> and then you could just see the milk kind of flushing out and it's, oh, it's just disgusting. <laughs> I didn't like it anyway. So I decided not to look while I was... Um, expressing the milk so I expressed some milk then my partner fed him for the first time and um, there's a picture of it on my tumblr I think and my twitter and um, yeah he really enjoyed that so then that night he did the feeding as well and then after we used the bottle for the first time the next feed he got was actually from uh, my breasts and he latched on straight away as well without the nipple shield or anything so obviously it didn't cause any nipple confusion but I was reading an article and it did say that um, some babies can well with most babies you should wait about four weeks till you introduce a bottle but then some babies can just 
have bottle and breast straight away. It just really depends on the baby because my baby has three, well, four different kinds of nipples right now because <laughs> uh, he's using a dummy since yesterday because um, he started comfort sucking about three days ago and we couldn't get him to sleep at all unless we stuck our finger in his mouth so I really 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 didn't want him to have a dummy but it was the last option for us really if we wanted to sleep so we got him a tummy tippy dummy yesterday then we've got the nipple shield which is just like kind of a straight uh, cow nipple teat <laughs> I don't know it looks funny um, then we've got the bottle and obviously my breasts so and they're all kind of like well they look different to me so they must be like different so that's four kind of um different nipples or teeth or whatever he gets and he doesn't get confused so he's one of them babies that just doesn't get confused i guess so i just thought i would let you know how my baby got on with breast and bottle feeding and if you've got any question about about um, pregnancy or beauty or um, bottle feeding or breastfeeding or anything, just let me know and make sure you visit my Tumblr and my Twitter and stuff. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!